So this is all about basically understanding how to efficiently maximize your muscle growth. Now, maxing out your muscle size requires that you give all facets of muscle hypertrophy your attention. So that means everything from uh, fast twitch and slow twitch myofibril growth to sarcoplasmic expansion, which is what we're gonna be talking about. So sarcoplasm is the energy fluid in the muscle that contains ATP and other substrates. Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is the increase in the volume of sarcoplasm within the muscle fiber, which increases its size. So the sarcoplasm is basically the fluid and everything else in the muscle that's not, in the muscle fiber rather, that's not myofibrils. So to help you further understand the differences between the actual uh, sarcoplasm and myofibrils, I'd like you to picture one of those long balloons that you see uh, clowns use to make balloon animals, dogs and giraffes and stuff. This balloon is gonna represent one single muscle fiber. Now let's just imagine that this long balloon has long thin tubes that run the length of the entire balloon, kind of inside the circumference of the balloon. These tubes represent the myofibrils. Okay, now finally imagine that the balloon is filled with beet juice instead of air. This beet juice is going to be representing the sarcoplasm. So now we have this long balloon or single muscle fiber that contains all of these tubes or the myofibrils and the beet juice or the sarcoplasm. You got a uh, hundred tubes in the balloon and the rest is filled with uh, a quarter of the beet juice. This will represent an untrained muscle fiber. Now sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is like adding more beet juice to the balloon swelling it and increasing its size. Myofibrial hypertrophy is like adding more tubes to the balloon while keeping the same volume of beet juice. Now, this will of course lead to an increased total volume in the balloon. And of course, whether you increase the volume of the juice, the sarcoplasm, or the number of the tubes, the myofibrils, both will be increasing the size of the balloon or the single muscle fiber size. The critical difference is that adding myofibrils increases the contractile components of the muscle, which increases